Kazuki Bakugo has two important things in his life. His hero career and his daughter. After graduating from Yue, he finally got to be what he dreamed of, being a hero. Sure, he might have not been number one at the moment, but he has to beat number one, his number one fan. His daughter, Hana Bakugo, his pride and joy. Hana's mother gave up on her and left the father-daughter duo d- deserted. But Bakugo put on a brave face and gave his daughter everything she wanted because she was his little girl, of course. She was the spitting image of him, the ash blonde, spiky hair with red blood eyes. But her adi- their attitude were very different, but it did not bother anyone. He was, he was a damn good father, and he knew it. Bakugo was preparing to go out with his daughter today since he got a day off of hero work. He was going to surprise her with a day out. Honey, he said softly as he shook Hana's shoulders gently, waking her up slowly. She opened her one eye, then turned away groggily, saying, Go away. He gave her a dead pant look, tore the blankets off of her, and tickled her awake, both of them laughing happily. I'm awake, I'm awake, old man. What did you call me, brat? You death. I said you're, you're an old man. Oh, okay, guess you don't want to go out today, huh? He, stare, he started walking away with the small hands grabbing his legs. He looked down at the little girl with a smirk as she pouted. Where are we going? She asked cutely, tilting her head. It's a surprise, Blondie. He lifted her and went to give her some cuddles from her. He crossed... He crossed her, she crossed her arms and huffed in annoyance. I don't like surprises, Daddy. Live with, live, live with it, sweetheart. After a long drive, they arrived, the little girl's eyes wide, widening with glee as she pointed at the building. <gasps> An aquarium? Yep, let's go. She, she carried her backpack with her and they walked inside. Hannah's eyes sparkled at the sight of different animals swimming about learning about new things and enjoying sp- spending time with her father. They saw octopuses, eels, fishes, starfish, one of Hanna's favorites, dolphins, otters, turtles, seahorses, and a lot more, all popular animals that grasped the attention of the number two hero and his daughter. Making a quick stop to the gift shop, Hanna grabbed hold of two teddies, one of a, one of a shark and one of a penguin. She ran excitedly to her father and gave him the penguin doll. This is for you, Daddy, and the shark is mine. She smiled up at her at him and gave her a soft look while hugging her. Thanks, honey. How about we see s- some real sharks now? Yes! When they arrived at the shark tank, Hana gasped at the sight of a tiger shark approaching slowly, swimming along, showing its beautiful fi- fins and sharp teeth. Look! It's Uncle Karishima, she giggled as she chuckled at her own joke. <clears throat> yes, yep, this is where shitty hair is from, he joked back with her as they both laughed happily. In five minutes, the dolphin show will start, so take your seats now. The announcement caused a riot among the people, with everyone rushing to see the performance and screaming and pushing each other. In the midst of this, the two Bakugo got, the two Bakugos got spreaded. The older one ran around in panic while the younger one stood at the side, tearing, tears spilling out. Daddy, she shouted, yet received no answer. She slid down the wall and hid her face while holding the shark teddy bear in her arms. Hey, darling, are you all right? An unfamiliar voice asked a scared little girl. Teary red eyes met kind eye-colored ones. The lady was very pretty and looked like she worked at the aquarium by her clothes. She shook her head and rubbed her eyes. I lost my dad, she replied in a soft voice. The lady frowned sadly at her, but then gave her a soft smile and gave her a hand. Why don't we go find him? Ian's POV. Poor kid, she looks terrified. She grabbed my hand and slowly stood up, holding her stiff stiff shark tightly. I'll call for receptionist, okay? And how about we go wait near the aquarium wonder enclosure, aqu- aqu- aquatic wonder enclosure? The li- her little pace, p- 
pace perked up, and she nodded. Hey, Ethan, we got a lost kid here. Can you announce to me at the aquarium wonder? I asked to the wake, to my walkie-talkie. After that, he said he would, and I walked. Hey, what's your name? Hana. Hana Bakugo. Bakugo? That sounds familiar. I walked uh, Hana to if my favorite place within the whole aquarium. My name's Yen. She smiled. She smiled up at me. That's a pretty name. And she grabbed my hand tightly. Okay, so why we wait? Do you want to know a, about lives here? I asked, and she smiled and said yes. So my quirk gives me the ability to talk to animals. So I can call our friend to join us here. Wow, that's cool, she said excitedly, and I kneeled next to her. She's so cute. Well, this is my friend Finny is an orca, and he's been here to recover from an accident that happened a few years ago. Oh no, what happened to Finny? She asked in a sad tone. When he was swimming, he got caught by some bad people, band, band, bent one of his fins and was cut off, which made it harder for him to s- swim around. Luckily, I considered him... I considered him to come here to recover, and every day he is getting better. I smiled. You must have a lot of friends here, huh, miss? Yep, animals and humans. And speaking of animals, here he comes now. From the middle of the blue water emerged a shadow, showing Hana the beautiful sight of a great orca swimming along with the fish and cor- corals. His, her eyes shined brightly at the sight. Hey, Finn, I shouted. Hi, Mr. Finny, Hannah shouted as she waved at the animal. Finny, oh my God, clicked his teeth at us in response as he passed passed away, giving Hannah a a sight to remember. Whoa, that was awesome. I know, right? Hannah came a voice out of nowhere. No one's POV. Bakugo raced towards his daughter, and both ended up in a bone-crushing hug. I'm so sorry, honey, he whispered in her ear. He, she grabbed his face and, pow- and pouted at his sad face. It wasn't your fault, Daddy. I got to see Mr. Finney and Miss Yin, and he was big and looked better than the shark was. Then we, that we saw. Sorry, I forgot that part. Bakugo looked up to meet to me, eyed colored eyed ones, his heart beat slightly faster than usual at the sight of the woman. You are beautiful, so shut the fuck up and take the compliment, you pretty little p- <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's actually what it says here, but you guys are gorgeous, no matter what people say. But <laughs> I'm dying, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. I thought I lost her, he said in relief. It was no problem. Hannah was very nice and got to make a new friend today, didn't you? Yin que- asked, oh my god, I cannot speak now. Questioned Yin as the little girl in her father's arms shook her head and rambled to him about her time with the nice lady. Wow, they almost look, oh my god, identical, Yin thought, seeing the resemblance between the two. I don't know how to thank you, Bakugo said as he rubbed the back of his neck. The little Bakugo then had an idea and smirked. How about if Daddy took you out? He needs to go out more, and you need more human friends, Hana suggested as both adults looked at each other, then at each other with red cheeks. The kid, the kid, this kid's blurt and savage, Yin thought. I'm so sorry. Hana apologized. No! <laughs> Yen smiled sweetly at the sight and giggled at both of them. I don't mind, since she is right. I need to go out more and hang with humans. Bakugo and Yin locked eyes sweetly, both of them laughing. So, it is a date? The woman suggested shrugged, oh my god, the, sh- the woman suggested by shrugging her shoulders. I might need your number to confirm, he smiled at her while they exchanged numbers. Here, have to go home now, but I hope to see you soon, Yin, he said as he grabbed Hana in his arms, the smaller one pouting at the thought, pondering at the thought 
of leaving. Can I say bye-bye to Mr. Finney before leaving Yen? She asked sweetly, and, and of course, he couldn't refuse that face. Finney! Both Bakugos looked in awe at the sight of the orca swimming by. The injured fin showing a big scar that was healing. The animal then whistled at them and slowly picked up his fin and waved at them. Yin looked at them. He says goodbye. You can understand that thing? The man asked as the lady rose, rose her brow. It's a he, not a thing. But I'll tell you more on our date, she smiled at him. So you're confirming it? He winked at her and laughed at, flus at her flustered face. He nodded and waved at the duo, leaving the building, already exit excited for their date. She's nice, Dad. I want her after the date, okay? Sure, Princess, I promise. Kuski has three important things in his life. His hero career, his daughter, and a date with his possible future partner. P.S. I love this chapter because my favorite aquatic animals is dolphins and orcas. So, <laughs> little gremlin. <laughs>